the voice to Parliament, the referendum later in the year, but over coming weeks and months, the nuts and bolts, the practicalities of it, that's uh, going to generate more and more attention. Indeed, and I thought we got a bit of an insight yesterday into some of the difficulties around the practicalities of the Indigenous Voice to Parliament when I asked the Social Services Minister, Amanda Rishworth, whether the voice would be consulted prior to a budget when it came to a piece of policy like raising the job seeker rate. The voice proposal looks likely to be successful at referendum, but just six to eight months from that, there does seem to still be an uncertainty around what the body will be asked to advise on. In terms of something like uh, Job Seeker, um, the voice will uh, make representations on behalf of the issues that affect uh, affect Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people. Um, that's that's very clear, and the government uh, uh, will take that advice um, and and listen to that advice. Not Following unlike, I think, a number of other advisory committees that we got. Well, well, that 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 is a matter for the voice. You just said, well, that would be up to them but isn't it up to you? We can seek advice uh, from the voice. Would you in um, that instance? And, and that will be a matter... Of well, at this point, uh, we haven't got a legislated voice. The voice, as it is currently conceived, uh, will be able to uh, give advice on, on, on issues right across the board, including something like job seeking.